if a fighter jet that once ruled the skies was reborn, not just upgraded, but completely transformed for the battles of the 21st century. That's exactly what Russia has tried to do with the MiG-35. On the outside, it may remind you of the legendary MiG-29, but under the skin, this is a whole new beast, equipped with next-generation radar, powerful engines, deadly weapons, and systems designed for survival in the most hostile airspaces on Earth. The MiG-35 isn't just an aircraft, it's Russia's attempt to prove that legends don't die, they evolve. And today we'll break down what makes this fighter such a fascinating chapter in aviation history. From MiG-15 to MiG-35, a legacy continued. For decades, the MiG name has carried weight in aerial combat. The MiG-15 shocked the world during the Korean War. The MiG-21 became one of the most produced fighter jets ever. And the MiG-29, introduced in the 1980s, was designed to go head-to-head -head with the American F-16. Fast forward to today, and the MiG-35 is the newest heir to that legacy. Built by Mikoyan under Russia's United Aircraft Corporation, this fighter is more than just an upgrade. It's a platform designed for the demands of modern warfare. Where the MiG-29 was a Cold War jet, the MiG-35 is a digital age machine. It's Russia's way of saying, we can keep our old designs alive, but give them the tools to fight tomorrow's wars. Design an airframe, familiar, but stronger. At first glance, the MiG-35 looks like a refined MiG-29, but look closer and the differences are clear. The airframe has been reinforced for greater durability and reduced maintenance. One of the biggest issues with older MiG aircraft, larger wing surfaces give it better agility, while expanded fuel tanks mean it can fly farther without needing to refuel. It also comes in two versions, the MiG-35S, a single seat variant, and the MiG-35UB, a two-seater, which can be used for training or specialized missions. So while it keeps the iconic shape of the MiG-29, the MiG-35 is tougher, more flexible, and designed to last longer in service. Cockpit and avionics, a digital leap. Step inside the cockpit and the jump in technology becomes obvious. The MiG-35 trades its old dials and analog instruments for a fully digital glass cockpit. Pilots get multiple large multifunction displays that provide navigation, targeting, and system data in real time. Add to that a modern fly-by-wire system, and the jet feels lighter and more precise to fly. But the real star is the helmet-mounted display system. With this, a pilot doesn't have to look down at screens or even move their head too much. Critical data, enemy positions, weapon status, flight path, all appear directly on the helmet visor. Wherever the pilot looks, that's where the targeting system follows. This dramatically reduces workload in fast, chaotic combat situations and gives the MiG-35 a huge advantage compared to older generation fighters. Engines and performance, power meets agility. At its core, the MiG-35 is powered by two Klimov RD-33 MK engines, upgraded versions of the engines used in the MiG-29. Each one produces up to 9,000 kilograms force of thrust, allowing the jet to hit speeds of Mach 2.25, over twice the speed of sound. But what makes these engines special isn't just speed. They're smokeless, meaning they leave a much smaller heat and infrared signature, making the jet harder to detect. And with optional thrust vectoring nozzles, the MiG-35 can perform extreme maneuvers in dogfights. Tight turns, rapid climbs, sudden flips. This is where Russian engineering shines. In close combat, agility can mean the difference between victory and defeat, and the MiG-35 was built to outmaneuver. Weapons in combat role, multi-role versatility. The MiG-35 is designed to fight in the air, strike on the ground, and even target ships at sea. It carries a 30mm GSH-30-1 cannon and has nine hardpoints for missiles and bombs. These can include R-77 and R-73 air-to-air -air missiles for dogfighting and beyond visual range combat. Kutch-31, Kut-29, and Kus-38 missiles for striking ground targets. Anti-ship missiles and anti-radar weapons for specialized missions. Precision-guided bombs for surgical strikes. The MiG-35 can also link up with other aircraft and command centers in a network-centric system, sharing targeting data and improving coordination on the battlefield. Radar and sensors, eyes that never blink. Perhaps the most important upgrade is in its radar. The MiG-35 carries the Zhuk AEAESA -E radar, a huge leap from the older MiG-29 system. This radar can track 30 targets at once and engage six simultaneously. It has long detection ranges, strong resistance to jamming, and can operate in all weather. Alongside radar, the MiG-35 uses an advanced optical locator system, 
basically an infrared search and track sensor. This means it can detect enemy aircraft without emitting radar waves, staying stealthier while hunting opponents. Together, these systems give pilots better awareness, longer reach, and the ability to fight smarter in the modern electronic battlefield. Survivability built to last. While the MiG-35 isn't a true stealth jet like America's F-35 or Russia's own Su-57, it does use radar-reducing materials and coatings to lower its detectability. It's also packed with defensive tools, radar warning receivers, missile approach warning sensors, and dispensers for chaff and flares. If an enemy missile locks on, the MiG-35 gives its pilot the extra seconds needed to survive. Cost and export, a fighter for the world. One of the biggest selling points of the MiG-35 is cost. Compared to Western jets like the F-35 or Rafale, the MiG-35 is significantly cheaper, both to buy and to maintain. Its operational cost is said to be 2.5 times lower than the MiG-29, making it an attractive choice for countries with tighter budgets. Russia has actively marketed it to nations in Asia, Africa, and Latin America who want advanced capabilities without Western price tags, place in the Russian Air Force. Within Russia, the MiG-35 fills a key middle role. Heavyweights like the Su-35 and Su-57 dominate headlines, but the MiG-35 is built for versatility. It can defend airspace, provide ground support, and even operate from rugged, shorter runways. Some speculate it could even see carrier use in the future thanks to its reinforced landing gear. Legends never die. For all its strengths, the MiG-35 faces an uphill battle in today's crowded fighter market. On paper, it offers a strong mix of advanced avionics, agility, and affordability. But its biggest challenge isn't just Western jets like the F-35 or Rafale, it's competition from within Russia itself. The Sukhoi Su-35 and Su-57 often overshadow the MiG-35, with the Russian government pouring more resources into those heavy fifth-generation fighters. That leaves the MiG-35 struggling to secure large domestic orders, raising questions about its long-term role in Russia's Air Force. Another hurdle is export. While the MiG-35 is cheaper than Western jets, International buyers are cautious. Political tensions, sanctions on Russia, and the rising popularity of alternatives like China's J-10C or even secondhand F-16 make it harder for the MiG-35 to break into new markets. Still, the MiG-35's future isn't set in stone. Its combination of modern radar, network-centric warfare capability, and low operating costs could make it attractive for nations looking for a capable but affordable multi-role fighter. If Russia can deliver on production and support, the MiG-35 may carve out a niche as a reliable workhorse, even if it never becomes the global star its predecessors once were. The MiG-35 isn't about reinventing the wheel, it's about taking a proven design and making it relevant again. With advanced radar, versatile weapons, stronger engines, and modern avionics, it represents the rebirth of one of aviation's great names. It may not have the stealth of a fifth-generation fighter, but as a cost-effective, highly maneuverable, and technologically advanced multi-role jet, it proves that legends can evolve and still dominate. So do you think the MiG-35 will find success on the global stage, or will it remain a supporting role in Russia's air power? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. And if you enjoyed this breakdown, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more deep dives into the world's most advanced military technology.